Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Um, tried to do the live stream this morning and it ended up being a pretty much flop. Uh, technology got in our way. Uh, try again next week. Just wanted to still do a cave live. You know, this week's poll was on um, does Bigfoot uh, use caves to traverse between forested areas? And, you know, one of the great things we found out, I mean, one of the interesting things I should say that we found out that 91% of us think they do, they actually do. And 4% no, 5% not sure out of 137 votes. Um, excuse me, 140 votes <laughs> just updated. Thanks to all that participated very very interesting um you know it what prompted was and i forget i think dustin did last week mention that um there's a new uh show called in search of monsters uh on travel channel that i actually did have a chance to watch it was it was pretty good pretty well done uh some encounter stories and some of the takeaways though um were that there were some caves found actually up in the um, Nevada area and South America that have found some uh, gigantopithidus bones as well as some skulls that were Sasquatch-like, which is basically one and the same, um, and then human remains as well which is a little disturbing, goes right along, along the lines of the David Pilates theories. Uh, yeah, these are not warm and fuzzy animals that, uh, you know, what some people may think. These are live animals that have to survive and do what they have to to survive. And that's, if anything, that's what the, the cave brings about from a, you know, just a kind of a warning standpoint. Uh, up and above the whole theory of traveling uh, from forested areas, I'd say even large expanses of land they can possibly travel. I mean, you know, I know in the Austin area there's uh, caves, you know, um, that could lead to tunnels possibly um, and that possibly interconnecting tunnels. Who knows? Um, you know, Colorado, Utah, California. Um, you know, are they possibly interconnected? Who knows? You know, are there super squatch highways underground? You know, it's a possibility. Um, you know, and that shows like that, uh, bring it to light, uh, definitely was worth watching. Uh, some of the other things like I see here on the screen, legend Bigfoot is live and well in the Santa Cruz mountains. Um, you know, it's basically, there's a, a zine up there, which I would love to go see at, in Felton, California. And it's actually ran by this gentleman, Mike Rugg, here you see on the screen, um, off Highway 9. And, you know, it would be interesting, you know, from an artifact standpoint, his collection. And then, uh, you know, it would be really interesting to see if there's any new current stories that uh, I'm sure he probably, you know, he's kind of a center point for it all, you know, uh, that people possibly have weighed in with uh, or told him about. And... You know, uh, that's that's when you're interested. Uh, yeah, the stories in the past, it's all good, but the new and current ones are especially interesting to us because we can do an encounter story on it, then eventually try and follow up with an investigation. Um, the, the list is definitely growing. Uh, hopefully, we can get to them all, or maybe some, you know, if, if people are interested in, um, you know, doing some research in the field and uh, kind of working with us in a way get a hold of us let us know because uh, you know hopefully we can cover many many areas but in realistic uh, terms we probably need everybody's help to get this done really so anyhow that was especially interesting um, and then some of the other things I want to mention you know if you do have an area that you'd like to see cover uh, first of all smash like down below um, and then down below I should say and then a comment uh, you know, of where you might like to see the next encounter stories come from. Uh, maybe it's your area. Maybe it's your own backyard. Maybe you've done some investigation yourself, you know, 
you've been out in the field and kind of check things out. You know, I think there's not a ton of people that actually do it. You know, and that's kind of the issue because it is difficult to do. Uh, for one, first and foremost, you need the resources to get out there. And, you know, you need vehicle, camera, uh, you know, hopefully night vision. That helps, too. Um, so, yeah, there's some monetary expenses. And then, you know, it can be uh, physically uh, taxing, if you will. You know, being out there, you know, you could potentially have to hike several miles, um, you know, things of that nature. So you really need to think it through. Just don't kind of willy-nilly head out there. I mean, at a minimum, bring water. Um I would say some form of protection for sure. Um, you know, there's a lot to consider. There's, you know, there potentially could be snakes. Um, you know, and then bigger wildlife. You know, gain, uh, California mountains, uh, Nevada mountains, things like that. There's the mountain lions, uh, things of that nature. Other areas, I know there's there's many many things that you have to really watch out for. So, you kind of would do some research before you go do the research. For sure, um, and be prepared. A minimum water. Let someone know you're heading out. Try and go in a team of two. Now we have a couple coming up. Uh, one will be in the uh, San uh, Clarita range uh, with Sean doing a follow-up investigation, and then we should have another one in the Cleveland National Forest coming up as well. A couple expeditions uh, in the near future within the next hopefully month we can get that done it would be great to light here so again the live stream went kaplunk and following up with this and hopefully next week I can uh, get everything working again uh, which was it was working great and then it all just went kaplooey so I know this isn't the same but uh, leave a comment below and we will see you next Wednesday see you guys Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.